to the month of December and winter solstice. Thank you for joining us. This month we will bring, be bringing you a beautiful ritual um, that is specific to women uh, who would desire to celebrate the sacred feminine. Led by our beautiful Eva. Yes. My more serious moments. <laughs> yes. Uh, it was a beautiful ceremony. Uh, we celebrate the thinning of the veil, the veil between the physical and the spiritual planes of existence, which happens December 21st. That is right. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. We celebrated a little bit early for you because we're on camera time. Yes. <laughs> and um, so I am Trudy. I'm Ava. And welcome to Virtual Tarot. And welcome Aries. And happy winter solstice to you, Aries. We will be reading a four-card spread for you. Yeah. And that is what we do every month at Virtual Tarot. If you haven't tuned in before, then we welcome you. We will be reading four cards. First card represents the overall environment of the month of December for you, Aries. And the second card is your challenge for the month of December. Third card represents the unexpected, which we love. We do, we enjoy surprises. And the fourth card represents the outcome of the month. And after that, we'll give you a little bit of girl talk. Yeah. Which we're really good at. Because we're real girls. Yes, <laughs> yes as we you can are. see. Yes. I'm a park cat. I don't know what I am. She's Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Red Riding Hood. I lost my way in the forest. Yes. And uh, so, anyway, welcome to our Yuletide celebration. Yes. And let's do a bit of a recap. Oh, let's do it. Oh, for the month of November for you. I have you. to have my recap book. <laughs> yes. We have our special handmade recap book. She made it for me. I did. It was her Yuletide gift. It was. There you go. So, Aries, it says, the first card was the Knight of Wands. As your overall um, environmental tone of the month of November. Right. We said a little bit of cockiness goes along with that card. It's yep. all about fire. It's a let's just do it card. Fire and passion in the middle of a project or in the middle of a love relationship and eager to get it done. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. And the second one was your the child. Ace of Cups. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, Which so is lovely. So yes. Maybe yeah. holding back a little bit. Not quite ready to give for the heart to whomever. Inception of new love, new passion. Yes, yes, the inception of new love, new passion, yeah. new, a new emotional um, connectedness with right, someone. Right, right. And then, but it was interesting because within the context of the reading, the third card was, consult. Oh, five of wands. The five of wands. Which is one of, uh, fives are always uh, odd, it's an odd number. Yes. Meaning that there's always a little bit of imbalance. Im implied in the number itself. Right. And Especially uh, for five, it's usually a little chaotic. It's chaotic, but it's mm -hmm. disparate ideas, the inability to work as a team, mm -hmm. um, uh, or trying at least, uh, making the attempt right. to work as a team and, and finding a little difficulty in mm -hmm. doing that. And then after that, we had, what was the outcome? The right outcome then? was Page of Wands. Oh, right, so right, right. So fire card for you. That's a good one, though. Yes. It's That's the good auction. messages <laughs> of, let's do it again. Come on. Yeah. It's, it's, let's uh, go. There's let's a, you know. Let's start again. Let's uh, start from the beginning. Let's mm -hmm. rekindle um, all the energy and all the passion and all the desire. Um, or also, it might be that some young person, it always can mean it could be enters your life a young person and a uh, child and could be a boy or a girl yeah and becomes mm -hmm. part of the scene for yes the month of November yeah all right so, so November was full of fire and we had said Aries that's working for you this month so go with it yeah. go with that fire all right so, so let's see if they're still on, on fire this let's month see if you're and whether fire. or not they've ex if they're ready to accept that new Ace of Cups, that right, challenge sure position. Don't have them all okay, and the first card is for the month of December. Card. Let's announce 
the first card for the last card of the year oh, for the yes. environment for Aries. Oh, right. This is the last reading of the year, so. This is the, oh, and, and your month really ends in a bang here. Well, it opens in a bang. It will. But the whole month is covered with, with the card, which is yeah, the that's true. Wheel of Fortune Upright. Yeah. So, so interesting that we, you know, had said that right beforehand, that it's the end of the year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the wheel turns once again. So the wheel turns up. Yes. So if you've been struggling um, with some, what might be ill fortune, or a project that you can't quite get off the ground. Or if you are not, if your timing's been off. Mm -hmm. If you say you interview for a job and five minutes before they hired someone. You've been waiting in the lobby for three hours and they just hired the guy that was right in front of you. That would be <laughs> right. the wheel of fortune reverse. Your timing's off. Your timing is off. So uh, December, your timing is spot on, and so things, it's, it's almost like magically mm -hmm. things will fall into place for you. Although Aries has had a pretty good year so far. That's true. And I really, really, really remember Aries because I have two Aries daughters. That's true. And um, oh, a couple yeah, of months ago they so. ended with strength. Right. in the upright and um, so this has been a pretty good year for you so it really looks like the year is going to end on a, on a high note on a very high note and yeah. you're actually moving into the next cycle mm -hmm. of your mm -hmm. life um, mm -hmm. which means you know you're the wheel turns so you go into the next evolution so right. you might even be moving out of one situation or that sort of colors your entire life into a, a new situation it's a beautiful card to to receive at the winter solstice it is it's a seasonal card. Because it's, uh, it's about, this card is about cycles and about being in tune with cycles. It really is, And yeah. so the cycle of the earth uh, is moving towards more light mm -hmm. at, uh, after December 21st. And so you too are also moving into more light. That's right. Um, moving out of the... Um, you're moving out of the long days of winter. The long days of winter into the hope and joy and promise of spring. And that's what this heralds for you. Yeah, it's an internal. Oh, yes. It's an internal, uh, like we say in the, yeah, in, the, in the ritual. In the ritual, it's a, a transformation mm -hmm. that takes place. That's right. And an important juncture. Yeah, so you're kind of coming out of the long night of the soul. The long night of the soul. Moving and toward. The, the dawn is coming. Brevity. Right. You can see the sunrise. Yeah. And beautiful. The beams coming out. The first yeah. beams of light as the sun is rising. Right. You saw that. life. What's going to uh, uh, be the characteristic right. of the entire month of December for you? Right. Nice, oh, I like that. Let's see what's in the next position. Right. Woo, go in, let's go. They always oh, get the good readings. Yes. Oh, wow. So the challenge. The challenge. Is the three of cups. Girls night out is your challenge. <laughs> if you look at the card, you'll see the three ladies who are merrily holding up their wine glasses. We did a little of that last night. We did. I didn't have any wine. Little celebrating yes, last we night. We had our ritual. We had our ritual last night. And um, we did, and we enjoyed some time together. Yes, yeah. with the, with uh, our ritual ladies. Yes, we did. Yes, with uh, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. And the, uh, and I was the Queen of Wands. Yes, and I was the Queen of Swords. Swords naturally. And. Um, so, so we did a bit of that, but it uh, looks as if for you that is uh, in the challenge position this month. Which, you know, I mean just on a very top sort of level, we could say your challenge is to enjoy yourself, you know. You're having a yeah. tough time yeah, getting it together and enjoying yeah, yourself. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, again, sometimes um, we hold ourselves back from from pure enjoyment, from pure revelry. Right, or celebration. Celebration. Because as one of my alive gurus 
which I actually call him. He's, he's one of my mentors, but he says, if you don't celebrate, no one will, which is very true because there are these, all these points in your life yeah. that um, really, you know, you, you should celebrate. Right, you should acknowledge. As you should acknowledge. The joy and Because the celebration joy. is like a rite of passage mm -hmm. as well. And also with friends and family. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally, this is more with friends. Right. Even together with friends. The challenge is also to be friendly. <laughs> Hmm. You know, to to embrace, celebrate, embrace, to come together, to come together, to be a part of the celebration. Yeah, to find friends and and to share mm -hmm. with them. Yeah, is your challenge. Um, to join in. Sometimes I guess. the Aries are are very driven. Mm -hmm. uh, they're workaholics. A lot of them are. Right. And uh, so they don't take time out, or if they do. It becomes a little bit excessive, mm -hmm. so that can be too. It could be too. The, so the challenge can either be joining in and allowing yourself to enjoy yourself, or it could be over celebration. Yeah, or over celebration. One either. or the other. We're not sure so which. Let's go. Great. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Ooh. Okay. In the position of the unexpected, we have the six of swords which I love, love, love this card. Mm -hmm. It really is always a, a good card, even though it's a sword, and I always say swords are trouble. Of course she doesn't. But it's moving away from any um, sort of um, e stressful or situation or anything that is causing you inner, um, you know, really, usually it's between your ears, so it's causing you some uh, stress, perhaps. Um, you're not feeling... Um, I don't know, it's, it's just, you know, to me this is like wanting to move away from a situation, you know, because a lot of times when we're, we're in a difficult situation, we really want to flee. Flee, yeah. Um, but Either. this isn't flee, this is more like a ordered sort of move away from distress. But there is, you have a, uh, you have a savior of some sort. Someone who's helping you. Uh, right, because if you look at the card, yeah. what you see is this ferryman, ferryman who basically has this woman's back, if you want right. to put it in. She's with a child, they're seated, they're, she's, her head is bowed, so she's been through a great deal. And now they're moving away from, you can see the waters are turbulent right behind them and the waters in front of them are clear, and so is the sky clear. And so it, it, there's promise, like the Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. promises, right. that uh, everything is, is, is moving upward. Right, right. There could be a literal move too. Now, unexpectedly, you may literally have to move. It could very well be mm -hmm. on a mundane level you have to go from where you are, maybe you have to move, you get evicted. Well, it feels like a or fight or flight card for some reason, too. Yes. You know, because Aries is very like, whoa, whoa, they'll fight. They have no mm -hmm. problem with that. Mm -hmm. But this is more of, of a flight. Yeah, like a refuge. Like moving away from a situation. That's not good. That's causing distress. Right. And finding better um, situations. And living wow. circumstances. Now, and I believe that's very true. I mean, sometimes in order to feel better, you must actually make a physical move. You must, yes, sometimes you have to make a physical move in order to make a psychological move. And uh, that's what the card is uh, implying happens unexpectedly. Right, in order to partake of uh, friends, friends and to enjoy. Yeah, to enjoy and celebrate your life. In a light-hearted fashion. Yeah, yeah. You know. So let's see yeah. what comes at the end. Interesting. Oh, and we have another major arcana uh, when we're ending. This is the very last part of the year. Yes. Um, it is the moon. The moon. Which is actually interesting. Here we have the moon and we have the wheel. Right, so things change at the end. Yeah. There's a lot of changes at the end of the month. And um, it's not in any way a negative card. Mm -hmm. I never see the moon as being negative. 
although it has a, a you know, at night we tend to be a little more fearful than we are during the light of day. But it's a, a, a kind of inner um, change of light mm -hmm. that happens to you as well. In other words, you become more introspective, more thoughtful, and adaptive uh, change. You know, you, you, it's almost like an alchemical change takes mm -hmm. place, and you're adapting to that change within you. And maybe because of the changes outside of you, as implied by the unexpected, mm -hmm. so it makes you very reflective of right. those changes. Or more hormonal. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking of. Well, because it is True. the moon, and we do speak of hormones often yes. when we speak of the moon, it's change of life, of course, it's the female cycle, true. we, you know, we wax and wane, we, we girls, we do. We with do. the moon, so perhaps this move away from it's made, turbulence, made a little bit more, if not, which isn't a bad thing, well, but sometimes it implies melancholy. It can, it can, but that melancholy but is not a bad thing either. No, melancholy is beautiful because, again, through melancholy you become more creative. Absolutely. And more introspective and more understanding and more, um, you know, anytime you dwell within yourself and you become more familiar and more loving of yourself. But there's a lot of magic also that there's, goes yes. along with the moon. Yes. The mystery and the magic of, you know, the unknown, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the wonder of just, you know, the night. The night, yes. So it's a beautiful way to end because it's, it's at the winter solstice. And we had just talked about, um, you know, the journey of the soul, right? Right. And Coming out of the, the, you know, the dark night of the soul, mm -hmm. right? Here we talked about that, right. and here we are back into the dark. So it does of the soul. make you um, a little more. What's the word? Plaintive, uh, or uh, you know where you are discussing things with yourself. You know where you have internal dialogue, and you kind of peruse the various aspects of your life in an internal dialogue quietly, silently by yourself mm -hmm. in order to come to an understanding of your situation, of people, of your circumstances. Right. And so that might be happening right at the end of the month. Right. Which is a very beautiful thing. It is beautiful. But on a lighter note, this move may just mean you're surrounded by estrogen. It could very well be. So. So, if you're moving. <laughs> Yeah. You guys could just all cycle together. You know how women do that? We do. We <laughs> right. do. Out in their little huts. The next thing you know, you got a bunch of women cycling with you, and you're like, ah, it's all happening at the oh same time. God. So the men, like, flee no, <laughs> for we were, a week. We were banished from the village. That's right. We, we went to the red tent. We went to the red tent, and we we um, howled to the moon all by ourselves. That's right. <laughs> Well, so what happened to those wonderful days? I know. Well, there's nothing wrong with going to a red tent if you're all cycling oh, no, at the not same at time. All. Not a bad thing. And if you're a guy, get that out of there. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you see that red tent, go in the opposite yeah, direction. That red tent doesn't mean Santa Claus. So no. We are going to be performing a ritual. We will. Which you will see, and you get to meet the other queens. We've got four queens yes. this time. Um, all of whom are uh, essential uh, to this pagan, um, mystical celebration of what I say is the thinning of the veil between the physical and the spiritual planes of existence yes. during mm -hmm. the December 21st. In fact, if you would, um, on December 21st, 21st, watch the video and participate in the ritual because it's deeply moving and it will awaken in you um, means by which you can transform.
Yeah, it really, it really was yeah. deeply moving. Yeah. And thank you, Ava, for performing the <laughs> beautiful ritual. It was gorgeous. We loved it. My pleasure. Um, and so thank you very much, Aries. We yes. do personal readings. Um, yes, to remind you that if uh, you like... This is a good time. Oh, yes. Especially this time of year. So click here. So click over there. For menu of services. look down there. We have our link, virtualtarot.wordpress.com. And uh, go to our menu. We have oh, and we have special prices. Yes, we do for Christmas. Yes. Um, we so everybody yes. should get it. You know it's what a great gift. what a In great other words, thing we to do. the prices for you, and uh, we hope that uh, uh, you you participate if you've been wanting to and you haven't. If the prices were prohibitive, go have a look right now. Maybe you like one of the evening readings. Would be nice for next year. Meeting, yes, for next year. Or just a burning question. Oh yeah. If you're a VT newbie, right? A VT newbie. There you go. So um, thanks again for watching. We're gonna see you next month. Tune in for the ritual and um, also oh, wait, the Q and A. We're gonna do a Q and A. Q &A. Once and again. if you want a pencil card, you can also be down there and just click. So thanks a lot. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Should we ho 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 them out? Ho ho. Ho ho. Ho ho. <laughs> You're a ho. You're the ho. No, I'm not a ho. She's a ho. <laughs> Who's the ho? <laughs>